Hey, hey, so here we are, part two of my scented home series using candles, or should it just be scented candle series? I really should try and settle on a name if I'm gonna do something like that. But anyway, we're talking about scented candles. Today, I'm actually gonna be reviewing some of the candles that I have. I'm really gonna be focusing on one house today because even though I have lots of different candles with lots of different brands, this is probably the house I have the most of and I'm probably the most familiar with these candles because I've been buying them for years and years and years. The brand is Glass House, which uh, you've probably heard of, although if you aren't in Australia, you may not have. It is an Australian brand, although the founder of the company, Nicole Eccles, is actually from New York originally. She moved to Australia in 2005. Uh, one day went out to buy a scented candle and she couldn't find anything. Couldn't find anything that was good. So she decided to launch her own and called it Glass House. So they launched in 2006. This woman does not mess around. The thing that I really like about their candles is uh, they're very heavily scented. So they will actually fill a room with the scent. They say that their candles are triple scented as part of their advertising. I don't actually know what that means in terms of concentration of fragrance and they don't really elaborate on it. All I know is that they're really strong and they use good quality products and that's all I really care about. So without further ado, let's get into looking at the candles that I have. These aren't going to be reviewed in any particular order but I will try and keep my favorite ones to the very end. So the first one I want to talk about quickly is Tahiti. It comes in a box that looks like this, although the boxes don't look like this anymore um, because they have changed their packaging. In any case, this one, the notes are tiara flower and coconut. I really like this, but I I thought the scent was going to be a lot stronger. So some, some fragrances, even though all of the candles are triple scented and they're all strong, obviously the note combination will determine uh, you know, how strong they really are. So this one is very milky and coconutty, as you would imagine. I do get a hint of floral, but I wouldn't necessarily have picked it as tiare flower. And I certainly don't get, for me, I'm, I'm just not... I don't necessarily smell tiara flower when I smell this. Really, this is sort of like a coconutty holiday kind of scent. Very nice, very tropical. I just wish it was a little bit stronger. The next one is called Cypress. This one I really like a lot. The notes are sea salt and saffron. It's just a really fresh, almost cologne kind of smell. I'm kind of zesty and obviously a bit salty. Um, and a, a slight, slightly smoky. Yeah, I really like this one. I don't have the lid. I don't know what happened to the lid. It's kind of a little bit masculine, which I guess is what I mean when I say it sort of smells a bit like cologne, but I really enjoy this one. It's very refreshing and uplifting. The next one is called Sydney Sundays, and this is part of their new range. And as you'll see, the packaging is slightly different. I like these new boxes, I have to say. They kind of feel velvety. It's really nice. Sydney Sundays is neroli and pink pepper. It's sweeter than I thought it was going to be, I have to admit. And when I first, I blind bought this one. I didn't um, smell it in a store and then buy it. If I'd smelt it in a store first, I might not have bought it. But it, interestingly, when you burn it, it doesn't smell as sweet as it does when it's in the jar. So I really, really, oh, and this is the new packaging for the jar as well, actually, in case you have seen the old ones, but not the new ones. But it is very nice. It's kind of um, a little bit green, a bit of spice to it, but it's sort of fruity as well. And there must be some fruit notes in there. Uh, and I don't know which ones, but it does have a sweetness. It does smell a bit fruity to me, which again is why I probably wouldn't have bought it if I had smelled it out of the jar in the store. Uh, but I'm still enjoying it quite a lot. And I will burn this during the daytime. Over the rainbow. This is violet leaves and musk. I kind of have to be in the mood for this one because I really like it, but it some days I just don't like it at all. Some days I just don't want to smell it. It's uh, a little bit powdery, 
It's got that violet smell to it. And then, then you've got the musk on top of that, the white musk. It does have a bit of a, a laundry detergent smell to it, but I quite enjoy it when I'm in the mood for it. It is quite strong. I don't feel like I need to burn this one as long as I do some other candles. The next one is called Barcelona. I should point out that the names of the ones in these old packages, old boxes, are different now. Uh, some of them have been discontinued as well, but where they have continued the line, but with the new packaging, they've actually renamed some of these. Just so you know, if you go to their website and try to order, it might not be called what I'm saying they're called now. This is all about tuberose. In fact, it's so strong that even with the lid on, I can smell this already. <laughs> I don't even have to take the lid off. Yep, it's tuberose. It's really beautiful. It's supposed to be tuberose and plum, which I do get, but I feel like the tuberose, as it tends to do in every fragrance that has tuberose in it, the tuberose does seem to really dominate. So I really like that one. I have used a fair bit of it as well, obviously, uh, but I don't, I won't use it in my office because the, the scent is too strong. It'll actually give me a headache. So I tend to use it out in the living room um, and consequently I only burn it when I'm in the living room. So the next one is called White Christmas. I don't have the box for this one, but this was a uh, Christmas special, obviously. And I kind of like the, the jar. It's very pretty, very Christmassy. This one is cedar leaf and fruit clove. So it's that really spicy fruit and a little bit woodsy. It really does smell like Christmas to me. I love, love, love this candle. I don't think, so I think this was from a couple of years ago. They bring out Christmas candles every year and I feel like, if I, I might be recalling this incorrectly, but when I looked at the white Christmas candle that was on their website from last Christmas, I felt like the notes had changed when I read the description. I could be wrong, but in any case, I didn't buy it because um, I didn't, I didn't, I just wanted this one <laughs> and they didn't, it seemed like they don't do this one anymore. Hopefully they will bring this one back. The cedar leaf and fruit clove, it's beautiful. So the next one is Persia. And this is Jasmine wood and vanilla. This is a new one for me. I bought this in, that, in, the, clo in the sale that they did before they rebranded. And I really, really love this one. I have a feeling that if I'd bought this or smelled this a few years ago, I may not have liked it, but I really like it now. It's very woody. Definitely get that jasmine in there. There's vanilla, it makes it quite sweet. So I think that's maybe why I probably wouldn't have liked it if I'd smelled it a few years ago because I wasn't really into the sweet candles back then. But this is really gorgeous. So the next one I bought on a whim, this is called Grandma's Punch and it is just fruit, as you would imagine. So I think the notes are pomegranate and strawberry. Let me have a look. Pomegranate and strawberry. It's very fruity, very sweet, uh, but not cloying sweet. Like uh, the, I think, I feel like the Persia one could be a little bit cloying if you were burning it on a really hot day because of that vanilla, but this is just really fruity and sort of clean, a crisp, crisp sweetness. Um, it's not my favorite when I'm burning it. I sort of am a bit non, non fussed as to what I'm smelling, but it does make the room smell nice. It's fine. Um, and I also really love this metallic uh, jar. So I repurpose these jars for everything. I've got cotton balls, cotton buds in my bathroom, in these jars. I use these jars to put perfume samples in. I use these jars to store decants in. Um, I use them for everything, everything. And oh, one thing I didn't mention in my first video when I was talking about getting the wax out of the jar, sometimes with the soy wax, because it is quite soft, it can be hard, even if you freeze it, doesn't necessarily pop out like other waxes do because it doesn't get hard enough. 
So what I do do is I just put hot water in the jar. The water doesn't have to be boiling, but it just needs to be hot enough to melt the wax. And as the water, it, then the wax will float to the surface because it's less dense than water. And as the water cools, the wax solidifies and then you can just scoop it out, out of the top. So that is something that I probably do more often these days than, than putting it in the freezer. But I used to use the freezer trick quite a bit, but I was, um, I did sort of cut that bit out of my last video and uh, forgot to put it back in when, during the editing process. So that's what I normally do when I'm trying to get the wax out of the candle. Uh, this is called Coney Island and it's um, burnt, burnt sugar and fig. The burnt sugar bit had always put me off um, from, from getting this candle, but actually I quite like it. So it is a sugary sweetness, but not too much. And definitely get some get the fig in there and it's a bit fruity as well so it's just a really it's, it's probably one of the more subtle ones sort of like the tahiti one it's a little bit it's kind of a subtle scent and it doesn't really throw um, or strongly scent a room which is fine when i'm in my office it's only a small room and i don't need the fragrance to necessarily be super strong the next one i really like but i haven't really i haven't burnt it yet <laughs> But I'm opening the box and I can smell it already. It's obviously quite strong. This is called Electric Love. And again, it's part of their new, I think it was a limited edition though, this one. I don't know if they still have it. Uh, and it was, it's part of their new line because it's got the nice tactile box. The, the notes or the description of the scent is Ruby Pomelo Spritz. Oh my God, it is. <laughs> It is so sweet. Yeah, it smells like really sweet citrus juice and grapefruit. Actually, the more I smell this, the more I like it. I love grapefruit. I'm a big grapefruit fan. I know it's a bit of a, it's a note that a lot of people don't gel with, but I love it. Uh, this is really, really gorgeous. And again, just really love that metallic sort of psychedelic jar. I'll be looking forward to using that one. The next one is another one that uh, I kind of bought for moments when I feel like I want something really, really sweet. Usually if I want dessert or something and I'm not allowed to have dessert. So this is called Taha and I think this is one of their most popular ones. So it's called Taha and it's basically caramel. <laughs> It is caramel. I really, it's nice. It, I mean, caramel smells amazing. I don't think I know anyone who doesn't like the smell of caramel, even if they don't like the taste of caramel. I really like it, but it is so sweet. And this is really strong too. So you don't need to burn it for very long. I've had this candle for a couple of years now <laughs> and I still haven't finished it because it really, it really is very strong. The scent throws a long way. It's kind of getting a bit smoky now. It's funny <laughs> when I open my candles, a lot of, if you take a close look at my candles, I've got bugs in them. The bugs just like fly into them and die. So it, it looks like a, it looks a bit gross actually, but I don't know what to do about that. Anyway, so just smells like caramel. It's one of their favorites. It's one of their best sellers. It took me years to buy one of these and, um, it's taking me years to get through it. Okay, so we're probably getting to possibly the top four, top three or four of the of my favorites from this house. This one is called Sunsets in Capri. And this again was a limited edition from last year, I think. And this is really Really beautiful, I love this one. This is white peach and sea breeze. So it smells fruity, a little bit. It kind of smells like a cocktail, actually. It smells like a fruity cocktail, not a creamy cocktail. Um, Cause it's got that vibe of ocean and holiday and it's very nice, I like it. And again, I was attracted to the, the jar. This next one, I think started out as a limited edition and then I think they made it part of their main line because it was so popular and it's called Kyoto. Ooh, there you go. 
Uh, this is one of my favorites. This is in my top three. I love this one, it's got wax everywhere because I was showing my partner the wick extinguishing trick and he had a go, but instead of just bending the wick over, he splashed the, the wax around. <laughs> so I've got wax everywhere now, but that's okay. So, oh, so the scents for this one, um, it's Camellia and Lotus Flower. It's a floral scent, it's quite heady um, and almost powdery too. So there's a thickness, a real sort of lushness to this, this scent. And I just, I, I adore it. I've been through several of these and I've often considered buying the eight, 800 gram. This is a, th the, all of these candles, I think are a 350 grams. Um, maybe the new ones are a bit bigger. I can't remember. Yeah. The new ones are 380 grams. And so I often considered buying the really big one. Now that I have so many candles, I feel like I don't know where I would put it because you're gonna have an 800 gram candle. You probably need somewhere to put it on display. It's, it's, it's a big candle. The next one is called The Hamptons. This is possibly my favorite from the whole line. Uh, this is Pettigrain and Teak. It's really woody. It's kind of a little bit green. I don't, I don't know what it is about this particular blend, but it is just absolutely stunning. And it just, some of these candles, especially the fruity ones, you kind of feel like they smell nice, but it's not necessarily how you would want a room to smell. But with ones like this and Kyoto, these are just, this is how you would want a room to smell. This is how a good room smells to me. Absolutely highly recommend this one in Kyoto. They're just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. All right, the last one is, it's called Melbourne. This again was released as a limited edition when it first came out. And um, this is a brand new one. I, I literally just finished one today. It's now sitting on the kitchen bench with some hot water in it to get the wax out. Um, so this is coffee flower. It doesn't smell like coffee, but it smells very floral. And it smells like a perfume actually is what I thought when I first opened this one for the first time. And funnily enough, then a few months later they brought out a perfume line and this was part of it. <laughs> So it's, um, it's quite sweet, it does smell a little bit like vanilla. Um, it's like a florally vanilla scent and it's really, really pretty. I love it. And I really love the black jar, but I don't know if they've continued with the black jar now with the new packaging. I'll have to have a look, but it's actually, um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but it's a black jar, but it's, it's, um, got a pattern on the inside so when the candle burns you see the pattern it's really nice and and the pattern I guess looks like that so I've just had to throw the camera back on because as I was packing up all the candles I realized that I had forgotten one uh, because it doesn't have a box so I, I don't know what I did with the box but this one is called Arabian Nights and it's a white oud so this again is in my favorites list. I've been through a couple of these ones. It's, it smells woody <laughs> is basically what it smells like. It may be woody and a little bit musky um, and kind of spicy, but mostly just woody. And what I really like about this one, again, it's, it's quite subtle. Um, it does scent the room. You can definitely smell it, but it's a good one for me to, to have burning in my study on my desk. So this is one I've been burning for a couple of weeks now on and off because it's just, it doesn't give me a headache. Some of these other ones, because they're so strongly scented, they, if I'm burning them at my desk, they actually give me, give me a bit of a headache after a while, which is fine because then you just blow them out. It's no problem. So yeah, this is one of my favorites. That's it. That's my glass house candle collection. There's a lot, I know, and this is just glass house. I think I have a problem. These are definitely um, my, my go-to 
scented candles because they, they're good quality, they throw the scent really well, they're Australian made, which I really like as well. I like supporting local businesses and um, they're easy for me to get. So that's why I use these so much. Anyway, so that is part two. Part three, I haven't decided who, which, which ones I'm going to review in part three, but I did just get a very special delivery today of uh, some candles that I did a masterclass on last week. And I'm very, very excited to open those. So possibly the next review, uh, the next video will be of that house, but stay tuned. Mm -hmm.